This is Diane Lopasic and Sadie Lopasic. And we're here with Appalicious from Lopasic's Orchard. Today we're going to make apple peanut butter snack bars. It's a great snack bar that is great for after school snacking or a healthy lunchbox treat. So this year when you're going to virtual school, be sure to pack some in your lunchbox. Sadie's wearing an apron today. You want to tell us about the apron, Sadie? Um, Grandma made this for my Aunt Karma out of old overalls when she was little. Mm -hmm. This was some craft group that I went to and we made made aprons out of um, overalls. And she she still wears this. This apron's got to be, you know, 30 some years old. So the sash is missing, but that's okay. We're just letting it hang. So, okay, we're going to start here. Um, we need a cup of shredded, shredded apple, grated apple. So I'm gonna grate the apple while Sadie does her thing. I've got a, I got a couple apples. I'm not gonna take the peel off. I'm just gonna leave those on I'm gonna grate. And Sadie's gonna tell you what else she's putting in there. All right, I'm gonna put two cups of rolled oats. Rolled oats. Which I forgot to get out. Oh my gosh, why is this out here? <laughs> Okay, we have rolled oats in a used caramel bucket because we get these buckets with caramel in to make caramel apples at the orchard. Um, and we buy oats by the 50 pound bag and then share it and use it for different things. We use it at the orchard to make baking mixes and stuff. We use a lot of oats here. So. To make sauerkraut, we use them. We use the buckets to make sauerkraut and that's true. One fourth of a cup of peanut butter. I had the one fourth out, I thought. This is one third. I was sworn I got that out. Somebody must have took it. You had two thirds out. No, that one was a mistake. That one was a mistake. Okay, just, just make half of this one. It's a half cup. Just fill it half. It'll be fine. the Sadie and Grandma scientific method of baking. There's some things that matter and there's some things that don't. If your hair off on peanut butter, it's really not going to matter. Just a I put a little bit more in there because I like peanut butter. Oh, tip this too. Okay. There. That looks pretty that's good our, to That's me. our one fourth of a cup. <laughs> it's perfect. kinds of apples here whatever I happen to have today that would depend on the season so it's not the kind that's important but a blend of apples always makes good flavor. Uh, it looks like to me like I have um, I don't know you think that I think I might need one I more need apple one more. yeah that looks perfect okay so what do you put I'll just go ahead and put it in there. We use that little red scraper to scrape it out when we're done. Now it's a half cup of honey. So we have honey in a jar that, um, we also sell honey at the orchard. It's um, locally grown honey. Um, the beekeeper is just down the road. And he's no longer, the original one is no longer alive, but the, he kept, um, grew up on, on the farm where the orchard is now. So we are always happy to sell his honey. There. What do you think, Sadie? Does this look like one cup? I think it's exactly a cup. There we go. Okay. Whoa, Grandma, this a little wet. <laughs> and then the next thing is two eggs. 
We're going to put the leftovers in a ice cream container and take them to the chickens. These eggs happen to be from her own chickens. Well, Sadie's own chickens. Mm -hmm. And we got ready to do this and I thought, ooh, I am kind of short of eggs today because I made pickled eggs a couple days ago. Um, which took a lot of eggs. And we will put those in the walk-in cooler over at the orchard so that when people are working late making cider and stuff and have to bring the cider in, they can have a snack. Or if somebody's hungry, they can have a snack. Just the family, sorry, not for the public. And then we've got half a teaspoon of cinnamon, which is there. Yeah. I knew I got it out. Sadie has been baking with me since she was just a teeny tiny thing and stood on a chair. And she always loved to bake and taste every ingredient. And then we have half a teaspoon of vanilla. We're using Mexican vanilla because it smells better. Oops. It's just the very best. All right, and that's it. Okay, now we're just gonna mix that all really well. Our nine by nine pan today seems to be just right and it's kind of cute and it's what I have it is a mini scraper before we made this we were doing something that had a cream cheese mixture and there might have been a little bit left in the edge of the bowl and on the beaters and we decided that would be fine it might taste Kind of good in there. Yeah, I certainly wasn't going to hurt anything, and it's all going to be baked, so. Okay. And then we're just going to put it all into the pan. We've never tried this recipe before, which many of the recipes you're going to see here we haven't. I also have to find some of our old plastic ones that are in some of our La Paz Orchard cookbooks from the past, mm -hmm. which seem to all be sold out right now. But So it's actually kind of a little bit runny. Mm, smells very peanut buttery and vanilla-y. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Okay. I'm just going to smoosh it down so it's kind of flat. Looks really good. And we're going to put it in the oven, they said 20 minutes at 350. And um, we want it to go until just barely brown on the edges. So apparently it's easy to overcook this. So we'll have okay. to be careful of that. So, okay, we'll be um, getting it out later and testing it. We're back. Our timer's dinging. We're going to check on our um, peanut butter, whatever bar things. Apple peanut butter snack bars. They say, Yeah. They say just barely brown on the edges, which I would say we're just barely brown on the edges. We're kind of experimenting here. The only thing in there that really would have need to cook was the eggs. Um, I'm going to stick my finger in it. It's nice and hot. Um, I think we're probably good. We're going to let these cool, then we'll cut them and we'll be, we'll be tasting them later today. Our, yeah. our peanut ah. butter. What happened to that apple peanut butter have? bar? I don't know. At lunch. Ooh, that one. It's right. And Capri is currently like She's really the excited. Okay, we're so. Ready. Okay. Cliff, don't this. don't break the pan. Uh, are we okay? Sadie's not getting in the film. Nope. Okay. 
so we're um, taste testing with Capri and Pip, Sadie's sisters. <laughs> They've been very impatiently waiting for us to come back. Very. With some things for their uh, to taste test. Did you each get a fork? No, I didn't. Could we go on over and get another fork? Let mm. Grandma dig it out. Oh, you dig it out. I dig. So it. these are the peanut butter oh, apple um, snack bars. I think Here's you can eat plate. it with your fingers, maybe. Yeah, you can eat it with your fingers. So maybe don't. Like you the probably fork. don't even need the fork. The well, fork they can, can use it for the next thing. Here's yours, Capri. Mmm. We're dishing out. It's a winner. Be Grandma, did you try? Cream. I wouldn't Kip says it'd be better with ice cream, especially if she puts it in her lunchbox when mm. she goes to virtual school. Mm. <laughs> mm. They're pretty good. All right. It's a, call it a nice, healthy snack. Yep, peanut butter. Well, okay. that's a winner. Thumbs up. Thank you. Thumbs up. Okay.